Hi everyone. This is a demo of the NTK NetLab Toolkit running on the Edison. The Edison is a Linux-based embedded uh, computer all right here in this small little uh, chip. Now it's also got an adapter board that turns it into work like an Arduino, but really you can use it this small. And so what I'm showing you today is um, the NetLab Toolkit running directly on the Edison. So you can see I'm turning the knob and changing the brightness of the LED, and you can see that in the widgets on the screen here um, that they're reflecting that. And so I can uh, add some more widgets here. Uh, let's say I want to add another analog in for another input. So I can now it's currently reading the A0, but if I plug this other knob in and now change that to A1, so that's running independently of this, this knob here. So I can then uh, do a little more. I can uh, um, add some media here, say this image widget, and uh, we can connect that to the opacity of the image. And so now as I turn that knob, I can change the opacity. Now, doing it really quickly because it's the opacity only goes from 0 to 100. So I can change that scaling here to just 100. And now the, the full range of the turning of the knob changes the opacity uh, of that image there. And all the time, this other one is still controlling the, um, the LED there. So now notice that we've got here this cloud out widget. And what's going on here is we're sending the data from that first analog in to the cloud. We're using uh, SparkFun's uh, FANT cloud service, and that's sending it out um, here. And so I can uh, um, show you something that we're picking that up. So if I bring in, um, this is another version of NTK running on my computer, not on the Edison, and it's connected to this Arduino. So now, as I change the brightness over here, those changes show up over here on the Arduino, and you can see that the Arduino light is changing. So these are right next to each other, but really they're only connected by the cloud through SparkFun's fan service. So these could be miles away from each other and talking to each other. So again, I turn it up and down, and that changes both the local um, that this knob is connected to, but also the remote um, LED that the is connected to the Arduino, which is connected through a completely separate version of NTK. Okay, now it gets even better. Um, we've got the Edison here, and we have the Arduino here. The Edison can run completely on its own. It doesn't need the browser window running. So if I simply say authoring off, now all, all control has been transferred to the Edison, and I can actually close this window and um, the Edison will continue to do its thing. You can see that the LED here continues to change brightness as I turn my knob. And the data is still being communicated to the cloud um, so that the Arduino, uh, there's a slight delay, but the Arduino follows what I'm doing here only connected on the Edison side. So this is pretty amazing. This means that I can do a visual authoring on the Edison um, and then disconnect from the Edison, not have any computer or anything. It's just running now completely standalone on its own with no computer attached, running the patch that I've developed. And that patch, of course, can speak through things like cloud out to um, uh, the cloud service, and then that can be read by other devices, as you see here with the Arduino. So that's a really quick demo of the Edison running NTK. Talk to you soon.